Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to use Smart Art to enhance your bullet points. So what is Smart Art? Well, Smart Art is basically a visual representation of information and in our case it's going to be visual, a visual representation of your text. So let's say for example you've got this text, these bullet points of text and you want it to make it look a little bit more visual, something like this and you've got some you've got it set up in these blocks and also these images here or let's say for example you have you're putting together a timeline and you want it to look at make it look like this pretty easily and not have to worry about putting shapes in individually or let's say for example you you're creating a hierarchy or an org chart and you want it to make it look like this and all in one easy step. Well, that can all be done with Smart Art. So let's go into our examples of how to create it. So go, I went ahead and already copied some of the bullet points. And it's actually fairly easy to enhance your text and convert it to Smart Art. So what you need to do is once you type it, type in your text or your bullet points, you can select it and under the Home tab, go to the paragraph group and click on convert to smart art. So once you click on that you can have a range of things to select from. So let's take for example I, I didn't want to see any of this. Um, if you hover over it it will actually give you a view of what it's going to look like. So let's say for example I wanted something like uh, uh, let's see maybe something like this. I click on that and I've got my smart art created for me and now all I need to do is just tweak it a little bit and so maybe I want to go under the design tab within the smart art contextual tab change the colors and let's say I would like uh, I like to have some bright colors not too bright uh, maybe this would do and then maybe change up the some of the styles and make it look kinda neat so there's a lot of things you can do with the smart art and with in this example I'm just gonna choose this effect here and these circles already represent an image icon where you can insert an image so all you need to do is select the image here or select that circle and physical science astronomy I'm going to select that image and then now I've got to tweak this a little bit I'm going to go and right click and format shape and maybe in the fill that's what it is it's actually filling the circle with an image uh, there's these offsets I can increase the offset or uh, let's see, increase the offset here over to the right, make it look a little bit nicer. So there's a lot of things you can tweak here, you know. And this one, I'm just going to go ahead and finish this one. Life science, this is DNA, I'll insert that. We've got the DNA uh, symbol, or the DNA, or I think it's a helix there. Go ahead and, oops, go ahead and click that. So this is a social science, let's put something like anthropology in there. I think these are, this is some people doing a dig there. And there we have our bullet points that have been converted into smart art to make it look a little bit more visually appealing. Now let's go into our second example where we have a timeline. And this is actually fairly easy too. And we can select this this group of text, convert to smart art, and let's do a process. So if you don't like any of these here, you can actually go to more smart art graphics here. And there's a list of different categories. And let me go ahead and move that up there. And this is basically a process. We, we kind of think of it as a process going from one quarter to the next quarter. And maybe we can use something like, uh, let's see, what does that look like? So maybe we can just do something like that. Or if you don't like that, you can go do something like that. Or there's a whole bunch of things you can choose from. Or something like this, where there's a lot of things you can choose from. You can also change the color and maybe change some of the styles so or and also there's there's a lot of other neat things you can do you can you can do give this a, a bird's eye view or this one is a sunset view so there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with your smart art you gotta be careful not to go overboard because well, what you wanna do is give your powerpoint slides visual appeal but not go overboard and make it a little bit too much for folks now let's go into our next example, which is the hierarchy. And and basically, each level of hierarchy that goes lower, you have to tab on out. So we have our CEO at the top, we have our CFO, CIO, and COO. And the as we go further down the chain, we tab out. So for when I say tab out, let's say for example, let's add a 
let's add a director here to this level. All right. So this is already tabbed out to the manager. I'm going to go ahead and, and go ahead and decrease the list level. And let's say there's another director here. And I press enter. You can see that it still stayed within that level. So I'm going to go ahead and press the tab key to move it out. And maybe he has another manager. Now once this is finished, you can just go into Convert SmartArt and we're going to s select the other category here in Hierarchy. And maybe if I wanted pictures, I can add a select this picture organization chart and you'd have to go ahead and put pictures of folks in there. But in this example, I'm not going to do that. Just go with the regular org chart here. And with the org chart, there's actually ways that you can format it. So you can see here that there is a way that it's lined up so you can actually go here and change it oops so if I can go up the top level I can also I can change the layout the standard both hanging and right hanging so let's go to an example down here let's say so I select the VP down here and I want to change the layout and I want it to have managers to the left and managers to the right so I can just select it and have it set to both so Oh, it, it did for the directors because I selected the VP here. So if I select the director here, this, this box here, and did both, then it would insert, it would format that at that level, at this level right here for that director, and I can do the same for others. So there's a lot of ways you can tweak it a little bit to your liking. Um, Smart Art is very, very uh, versatile, and it gives you a lot of visual appeals for your text, so you can actually turn a lot of bullet points that maybe you had before like this into really colorful and visually appealing graphics. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.